Okay, welcome to the Super Pilotish channel where I'm going to be talking today a little bit about an airworthiness directive uh, that came out as a result of a, a couple of unfortunate accidents, one in 1998 and one in 2005. So this has to do with the Cessna 150 and Cessna 152, uh, specifically the rudder and the rudder uh, stop bolt head and the rudder uh, stop bumper, bumper plate, stop plate. And you can see I'm moving the rudder in the video uh, to the point where the maximum deflection can be had uh, with the rudder. So uh, this is uh, the airworthiness directive came out uh, because uh, if the horn, you can see there's uh, the horn is the little horseshoe shaped uh, piece of metal that attaches to the rudder and then the two tips of the horseshoe uh, attached to the rudder cables. Uh, the uh, accidents that happened before in both cases, uh, the planes were not maintained properly, unfortunately, and it uh, made it so that if you were to enter a spin, uh, the f deflection of the rudder would be too much and that would affect your elevator so you wouldn't be able to break the stall part of the spin. And uh, in another case, the, uh, the stop plate uh, was installed uh, incorrectly and it got stuck on the, the, the stop bolt head. So if you have a plane and you want to know if the uh, airworthiness directive has been done, you'll notice that the stop plate is a little bit bigger than the original and the bolt, uh, the stop bolt, uh, the head of it is bigger. So this, this is a safety feature where uh, the rudder, even if it is a little bit maladjusted, or if one of the rudder cables, uh, the, the return springs break, uh, it won't be uh, it, uh, it won't be able to get stuck. So that's what the 19 uh, the uh, Cessna 150 and Cessna 152. Uh, it applies to the ones with the the swept tail. Uh, not the big square old 19, the, the cool looking 19, uh, uh, I don't know, early 1960s, uh, late 1950s Cessna 150 uh, cool square tail. Uh, those guys are off the hook on this uh, airworthiness directive. And I just figured I'd uh, show you this one here. The uh, specific plane here is a Cessna 150. And uh, as you can see, the airworthiness directive has been followed. So uh, it's uh, spin worthy. If it has not been done, uh, you could still have a, a placard uh, stating that spins are prohibitive. If, if you do see, uh, uh, if you're flying uh, a Cessna 150 or a Cessna 152, where there's a placard uh, on the instrument panel within the view of the pilot saying, spins are prohibited, that means that the airworthiness directive has not been uh, completed. Uh, so no spending those ones, there's a slight chance that uh, the rudder can get stuck. So let's keep it all safe out there. And uh, in below, in the description, I've put links to uh, the NTSB uh, in the United States and the uh, TSB in uh, Canada. Uh, the uh, accident reports, and there's a few pictures in there that you can see. It, it's uh, pictures of the rudder, and you can see what happens if the rudder is uh, stuck in a full deflected position, and uh, we don't want that to happen again. So that's why we have airworthiness directives, and that's how we stay safer up in the air. So thanks for watching here on the Super Pilotish channel. You can always catch me live. Uh, at uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at noon Eastern. And I'll be talking to you like the rest of my videos in my basement. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.